little caution can go a long way. That's the moral of these three true stories of vacations gone wrong. And as they show, staying alert may just save your life. I'm Mr. Mysteries, and this is Travelers Beware. Every day, truly unheard of things happen all around the world, and even simple vacations can turn deadly. A lesson which dozens of visitors to a waterfall in Brazil's Fornice Lake learned all too well recently. Just over two weeks ago, on January 9, 2022, vacationers in Brazil got more than they asked for when a rock formation in Fornice Lake, located about 260 miles north of São Paulo in the state of Minas Gerais, collapsed. Authorities believe the rock fell due to years of heavy rains in the area alongside heat and cold which all worked together to erode the rock from the cliffside. Recently, as many as 17,000 people in the state had to evacuate their homes due to these same heavy rains and the massive flooding they caused. The massive rock, which dwarfed the boats the vacationers rode on, could be seen slamming straight into passengers below, causing massive casualties. In all, 10 people are confirmed to have died from the rock fall, and another 32 were treated at a local hospital for their injuries, which were mostly minor, although broken bones and facial injuries were reported. Up to 20 more people were reported missing, and their statuses are still unknown. Footage taken of the incident shows the rock falling from multiple angles, as well as what happened immediately before and after it fell. Although no one could have predicted just what happened, the vacationers did notice something wrong right before the rock fell. In some videos, people can be seen pointing and discussing as dirt and small rocks fall from the cliff, with some of them inching and speeding their boats away from it. In all the clips, you can hear the shock and awe in their voices when the massive formation finally topples over. As it hits the ground, a thunderous explosion erupts, throwing rocks and tons of water in every direction. Pilots duck as the wave comes over them, trying not to get hit by the debris. The upbeat music playing in one clip is drowned out by terrified screams, and the atmosphere turns from apprehensive wonder to pure terror. The Brazilian Navy rushed to evacuate survivors, but the damage had already been done. Apparently, events like this happen often in canyons, according to Tiago Antonelli, head of the Applied Geology Division of the Brazilian Geological Service. Joana Fonchis, a geology professor at the Federal University of Goiás, gave similar sentiments, saying that the government should have controlled the site to prevent such accidents, especially given the rain. In her opinion, people should have been kept at least a kilometer away from the waterfall where the rocks fell. It's a tragic event that shows just how quickly vacations can turn deadly, and how keeping on your toes can save your life. Those keen vacationers who got away from the rocks when they noticed dirt falling may have prevented several more deaths from occurring that day. On a lighter note, this next story doesn't contain any death, but it does show one of the weird freak accidents that can happen at any moment on vacation. In Avery County, North Carolina, there are a couple of snow resorts where tourists can go to enjoy the winter time, be it by walking and playing in the snow, skiing, or riding lifts, which are elevated benches that take visitors from one part of the resort to another. It was at one of these resorts, Beach Mountain, that some vacationers ended up with injuries after riding the lifts. On January 7, 2022, a skier at the resort ran into a water and air hydrant while the resort was making snow. This resulted in several guests being sprayed with freezing water, something which is even worse when you consider that it was only 7 degrees outside. Video taken from the incident shows several guests being sprayed while on the lift, and one set of guests were even stuck in the spray as the lift was shut down while they were in it. One duo, a young woman named Emma Lopinto and her best friend, went there to celebrate Emma's 19th birthday. Sadly, her birthday was ruined as the blast lifted their safety bar and caused them to fall to the snowy ground below. 
They were taken to the hospital by ambulance for non-life-threatening injuries, but that doesn't mean everything was okay. According to Lapinto, her best friend recently returned to the hospital over concerns of spinal compression, assumed to be a result of the fall. Some other visitors were injured too, though they may have more fault in the matter than Lapinto. This includes Ivy Elise Ivy and her boyfriend who, seeing the blast, jumped from the lift and fell 25 feet, with Ivy fracturing her arm in the process. Amazingly, the person who crashed into the hydrant and caused all of this was not injured. No one died in this incident, so it's taken rather lightly compared to other events, something which Lapinto laments. Unfortunately, the same can't be said about the next story. While the snow may seem benign, it can be quite deadly. That's a fact the world was reminded of recently when 22 people passed away in Mori, a popular winter vacation town in Pakistan just 28 miles northeast of the country's capital, Islamabad. Originally a British-built medical town, Mori is popular for its colonial style and bountiful snow. After all, being more than 7,500 feet above sea level, the mountainous town gets more than a little snow. And it gets more than a few visitors as well. In fact, over a million people are estimated to visit the resort town each year. So what happened this time? Well, while snow and visitors might be common in the area, too much of anything is a bad thing, and there was too much of both this year. Over 100,000 cars were said to have converged on the small town, where roads are already narrow and difficult to manage on a good day. Add to that more than four feet of snow falling in a single night, and you've got a recipe for disaster. Umar Makbul, the assistant commissioner for the town of Mori, said that heavy equipment brought in to clear the roads got stuck during the night. Roadblocks in winter are normal for the town, but this time, they were disastrous. Roads were clogged with people who couldn't move as the snow piled up on top of them, and the results were truly tragic. Entire families, men, women, and children froze to death, and others likely asphyxiated on carbon monoxide fumes from keeping their heaters running. The government and townspeople did what they could to help those trapped, with some residents taking people into their homes while army schools were converted into shelters. The government passed out blankets and mobilized the military to clear the roads, but in the end, the snow was just too much. In all, 22 people, 10 men, 10 children, and 2 women passed away from the incident. Others, though still alive, face their own problems. Many people in the town, both locals as well as tourists, are left without food, water, and gas. However, government efforts to help the people are ongoing and roads are opening up again. Local officer Atik Ahmed said that thousands of cars had been removed from the roads already, but that over a thousand more remain. Shocked at the deaths, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan tweeted that he ordered inquiry and putting strong regulations in place to ensure prevention of such tragedies in the future. Today, I showed you three real stories of travelers and the tragedies they experienced while on vacation. These are just three out of millions. While vacationing may seem like harmless fun, a person should always be aware of the dangers that lie at every corner. This doesn't mean to be paranoid or to not vacation. Just be cautious and be alert. It may save your life. This has been Travelers Beware. If you liked the video, please subscribe and leave a like rating as I plan to bring you much more content of the scary, mysterious, and thrilling variety in the future. Comment below any thoughts you have on the stories or video or anything you'd like to see in the future. My email and sources are in the description, so feel free to email me any story, fiction or otherwise, that you'd like me to read or any topics you'd like to see a video on. I can credit you or leave you anonymous if you prefer. Until next time, this is Mr. Mysteries.